Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're going to be testing the Safari ME Portable Solar Generator. This is by Lion Energy and this has a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter um, which can power a lot of stuff. It has a 1000 watt hour battery in the main unit and an additional battery that you can buy that, has, that takes it up to 3000 watt hours of power. It can take up to 600 watts of solar. It has two AC plugs, USB plugs, uh, a cigarette lighter adapter port and also an Anderson power pole adapter port. So you can plug all kinds of things into it and it's great for construction when you don't have power or off grid stuff. But what we're going to be testing today is we're going to put it up against a Dometic 15,000 BTU RV air conditioner and we're going to see how long it'll run that. I thought that'd be a fun test. If you would like to see the full review and some other specs, I'll put a card up top so that it goes into detail about all the specs on the unit. Today we're just testing uh, the air conditioner. If you end up being interested in this, there's a link down below that'll take you to the Lion Energy website and it'll save you 15% off absolutely anything, which is hundreds of dollars off of something like this. So thank you Lion Energy for giving that to you, all of my viewers. Um, I'm also going to give you the results right off the bat. I don't like stringing people along until the end of the video to give them what they might only be interested in as, uh, you know, the results. So basically with um, no solar connected and fully charged, running that 15,000 BTU air conditioner that runs at about 1,200 watts while the compressor is running and about 300 watts when it's just the fan in between compression cycles. It ran for two hours and... 2.98 hours, so three hours basically. Um, and that was without solar of any kind, it ran for about three hours. Now the next day charged up, same conditions, and I added 400 watts of solar during the test. It'll take up to 600, but I only had 400 watts of panels. Um, so I ran the same test again and we got 4.8 hours of runtime out of that air conditioner. So we gained another, uh, you know, almost two hours. That was just shy of five hours. Um, so that's that's very impressive. That's pretty darn cool. But stick, stay tuned for the testing to see how I came up with that and some other tidbits and things. It's going to be a lot of fun. And we're going to jump into that right now so you can see how I did this test, how it performed, whether or not the air conditioner is blowing cold air and all of that good stuff. So why don't we jump right into the testing now so we can get into all of that. Okay, so first things first, we are going to unplug from shore power here. And we're going to want this little adapter. So we can plug in using our 30 amp cord inside the RV. Okay, so here's the setup here. We do have our my cord coming in from down below that plugs into the RV power, and we can switch over to that from shore power to we'll see if it's switch number one, I think it is. Or two rather. Yeah, it should be that. And so we're gonna check these guys. We have full battery there. and full battery there. So we're gonna turn on the air conditioner and see what's going on. You can see I do not have the ME plugged in right now. So we're gonna see exactly how long it lasts. I'm gonna take a picture a minute of the display so that we know exactly how much time has passed and we'll take a peek here and there at how many watts we're using and we'll see what happens. So let's fire up the AC. Okay, so I've disabled the inverter just to make sure and then we're also gonna to want to Go to the charger and disable that as well. So we're not feeding any power to the batteries. Okay, so I just hit the first picture on the camera. It's gonna take a picture every minute. We're still at 100% and 100% up here. So now we're gonna turn on the inverter. Once you kick on the old watt meter here. Okay, and we only have 2.75 watts just from some lights that are on, and now we're going to turn on the AC. Okay, and the inside temperature is 75, set it at 69, see how it does. Fan is on, hi. Okay, so here you can see I have a watt meter connected, so you can see how many watts is being used. You can see that with the fan running on the air conditioner, it's at about 300 watts, and here in just a second, the compressor is going to kick on. There it goes, and we're going to end up at about 1200 watts with the compressor running and the air conditioner blowing cold air, which we'll be doing most of the time at about 1200 watts. Okay, so you can see we're at 113 volts and everything is running. We are not charging the batteries. We are not using the inverter. We're just running off 
of the Safari Emmy. All right, it's cooled down quite a bit in here. Oh yeah. Okay, so pretty cool. The last shot that you saw there was the time-lapse video that we used to get our time. And it took 179 pictures, one every minute. So you divide 179 by 60 minutes in an hour, you get 2.98 hours, almost three hours. Um, and so that was really impressive for just that unit running the entire conditioner by itself for three hours. That's pretty cool. As you could see, the refrigerator was, or the air conditioner was blowing cold air. Um, it did cool it off in there all the way down to about 69 degrees, not quite. So it hadn't stabilized, it was still running. Um, but that was a really cool test. And then what we're gonna do for the solar, reset everything, recharge the ME, wait for the next day, same time. And we're gonna plug all this in. Now the only difference is um, a little bit of the setup. I didn't put the ME inside the RV. I actually ran an extension cord to the RV because my solar panels are on the porch and that's about the only place they get full sun to do this experiment. So the Safari ME had to be close enough to the porch to hook them to the solar panels. And then I ran a heavy duty extension cord to the RV. There might've been a little power loss there, but I think it's pretty negligible. But I'll show you what I mean and we'll run the second test uh, really, really fast. Okay, so here's the setup. We've got our camera with a one minute uh, intervalometer set and we are at 100%. We also have our external battery hooked up. We're also at 100%. And what I'm going to do is turn on the inverter. First, we're going to turn on the power. And then we're going to hit the inverter. There we go. See, the RV is uh, currently using about three watts. We're going to go turn on the air conditioner. We are hooked up to 400 watts of solar. And that is that cord right there running to my porch because it's where I get the best sun. And then we have an extension cord running all the way up to the RV, which will give us a little bit of power drop, but it's the best way for me to get full sun with my solar panels. Okay, so there you go. The last time lapse that you saw, uh, again, we took the pictures from that. It ended up being 288 pictures. We divided that by 60 minutes and we get 4.8 hours. So with 400 watts, we got close to five hours of running that giant air conditioner in our RV, uh, which is pretty cool. You can't add another 200 watts of solar that would get your time up even higher. Now, the thing that I really like about having my RV set up so I can put these, these kinds of uh, portable solar generators in my closet and run off of them, they're completely silent compared to gas generators and you can charge them up using solar. And so that's really cool when you are in an RV park or any kind of setup around other people. You can run your generator some during the day, but then say maybe it gets a little later, around eight o'clock or nine o'clock or 10 o'clock and you're not going to bed yet, but it's quiet time in the park, you can hook this up and run your air conditioner, your lights, your TV, your, all your stuff, just like you're running a, a generator, but it's completely quiet. And the next day you can charge it up either using your generator, it has an incredibly fast recharge time when it's plugged in, or you can charge it up using solar. And the more solar you have, the faster it's gonna charge back up. But I think that's incredibly cool. Um, so this is a fun test. Again, I'm gonna have a video that does a comprehensive review and lots of other tests. And I also run my entire cabin off of this thing. I will have that right after I'm done talking here at the end, there'll just be a video you can click on in the end card. But um, I think it's pretty cool. And again, if you wanna buy one, link down below, takes you to Lion Energy, saves you 15%. Um, thanks again, guys, for doing that at Lion Energy because it really does save you hundreds of dollars on this thing if you click the link, so. Um, I think that about wraps it up for this video. I'm gonna do some other tests with this guy and other videos. Um, and I might even have a playlist or something that goes through all of them at the end of this video. So I hope that video helped you out. If it did, please like, share, subscribe. That really helps me out. And until the next video, thank you so much for watching and happy camping.